I'm that man on the moon And I'ma do what I do So do you, hey So what I like about fingerboarding and how I feel about fingerboarding or tag decks and the whole fingerboarding stuff. That's a drive. So yeah, what I feel about fingerboarding and all the tag deck jazz is the way I see it. Fingerboarding for me is just pure fun and enjoyment. I'm not the best fingerboarder. And I don't want to be and I don't strive to be the best I just strive to be steezy at whatever trick I have or whatever trick I could do or whichever way I decide to fingerboard or play with my tech deck um, for me I still use tech deck and reasons being it's cheap and it's easy to come by um right now a major thing a major hurdle in my in my life is funds so tech decks being cheap being a budget um i'm all for it so i like tech decks because it's cheap and you can buy a lot of them at once which is good so like i'm saying like for me fingerboarding is all just fun just something i do when i'm bored or something I do when I need to fidget or something I do when there's nothing else to do or I, I just want to escape for a couple of minutes and just mess around with a little fingerboard I always have a fingerboard or a tech deck or two in my pocket sometimes going look at that I just took that out of my pocket. So like for me, fingerboarding is just fun. Pure fun and enjoyment. And trying to be steez. Steezy with whatever trick I have. Using whatever technique I have to my disposal. So I don't really want to be the best at technique. I just want to have fun and be steezy. And whatever tricks I have, or whatever tricks I could do. So that's how I view fingerboarding or, you know, like I still mess around with tech decks. Like I haven't moved on from tech decks yet because it being so cheap and affordable. Um, a fingerboard is like way more expensive. And I have a wooden fingerboard, but it's like mellow kicks. I don't I don't like those that kind of like mellow kicks. I kind of want it more higher. So it's not what I kind of picture a fingerboard to be because it's not like, like what I would like as like an ideal setup. So that's why I kind of feel tech decks more more comfortable because they're they have nice kicks like that. So like a stock tech deck, I like the way it's shaped, you know, but the fingerboard that I was able to get from Zoomies, it's kind of more mellow. Tech deck has way more better shape than that. So, so for that reasons, I stick with tech decks, but I've been thinking about upgrading one of these tech decks by putting the wooden, the wooden by putting the, the wheels with the bearings maybe onto a cruiser or maybe onto a, like a, I don't know why that one keeps falling maybe to a regular tech deck setup so I don't know if I should um, put bearings with cruiser wheels or bearings with regular wheels like regular plastic tech wheels but i'm aiming more for the cruiser wheels than anything so like right now we're just chilling decided to make this video while it's free uh, tech decks and how i feel about it i don't take it that serious to like oh my god 
Oh, I thought it was eyes and my god. All I use is tech decks. For me, it's all about having fun and being steezy with what I have at my disposal. So that's how I see Big Horan. So that's why I haven't really moved on from tech decks because I like where I'm at. You know, I feel comfortable, you know. It's cheap, it's affordable. Um, if you buy tech decks, it's kind of fun because the whole hunt for like the rare one and things like that. I, look, I even put skateboard grip on it. This drum I have inside that has a home grip. Do you have any more? And I'm trying to dig in my pocket to see if I have any. I also like the food. Oh look, I have another one. I have another one. I like these. I was also thinking about putting bearings next to one of these. I think it might be this one. Put the bearings on the ear. And I have fun with it like that. This one you can tell has been with me for a while. Because this is what happens in my pocket after a while. Um, and they, the tech decks start out so fresh and clean and little by little the, the, the grip tape starts wearing out. That's one thing I don't like about the tech decks is that the grip tape wears out. So that will be for a future video I'm going to make five things I don't like about tech decks. And we're going to be speaking about five things I don't like about tech decks and I just said one of them. So I have to come up with four more things I don't like about tech decks. That being this grip tape rubs it off. And I like these too. I like um the cruisers. These are like my favorites. Like these are like my go-to's like when I go hunting for, for tag bags. If I see a shaped one, like one of these or a hot wheels one that's like shaped like that, I, I go for it. I like the cruiser shape. Sometimes I try just to carry one, it's like, oh, just one, then I put it. Yeah, it's hard just to carry one. Because what would we lose it? That's like the worst. Like, you're so bored. That's how you're washing clothes and doing laundry. A laundry mat is the best place to like make quick videos, quick edits and stuff. Look, so, I made quick edits and stuff. So just take out the tech deck, start doing tricks, pop your phone up, start editing yourself. I mean, start filming yourself, doing tricks, like, like kind of like crazy tricks like that. See, I, I just landed that. You see, for me, Tech Dex is just about having fun. Landing weird tricks like that. Look at that. I just landed that. I that is. Look at that. It's impossible. Oh, it's not. I just landed that. Like, oh. Alright, I'm gonna end this here. And I guess I'm just keep making edits of the random. Oh, I know this those get a lot of views. I guess you guys like me. You guys like when I make a tech deck edit. So just keep Looking out for those you know, sick edits. But yeah, for me, as far as fingerboarding and techniques, I just want to be smooth and steezy with whatever trick I have.
Man, like I get down and dirty with the show. It's like, I feel like, oh, or, or, or you can do a show it's done. There's other things in the show it's, but I don't know. I'm, I like the fact that I have show it's like it's easy like this. But I could do it all for things too. I don't know if doing tech deck tricks off of like drops, it's a thing for tech decks. I know like, you know, like tricks off drops on the skateboard is amazing. Like, yeah. Do you get the same props for doing it with tech decks or doing it with fingerboarding like doing drops? Is that a thing that people do? Because I, 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 I could do drops. I've noticed that I've caught myself doing drops and sometimes I even put the puppets on my fingers and I'll do a drop like, like off a ledge onto another ledge type thing or like do a gap. I don't know if that's a thing that people like to gap things. Well, I like to gap things with my fingerboard. So like, let's say it's like a, let's say a big ledge or something on the ground and like I'm a trick off of it. You know, like is that a thing? Like doing tricks off the stuff? Like I don't know. Um, let me know in the comments. Like, is that a thing? Like doing tricks off of like ledges? Like, like doing tricks off of high stuff? Like high gaps? Like let's say there's a gap this high, and you're gonna do a trick. Let's say a uh, pop. Catching things. Like that's something I do, and I had fun doing that. Like doing tricks off of stuff so I could do shove it I found out I could like shove it off of it and I'll, and I'll like do the shove it and give it yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, 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 like the helicopter like that and I'll catch it on something like this and like that and I could roll away and sometimes I'll catch myself doing ollies off of high things like I'll do like ollie like I roll away kind of like and then sometimes I'll do like a shove it. Off of hot stuff or something hot like all the way. Or do like a faking one. Oh my god. But yeah, for me, springboarding is fun and trying to be steezy. So fun and trying to be steezy. That's what springboarding is. So I'm ending the fingerboard rant here. For me, fingerboarding is fun, is having fun and being steezy. That's all it is. Just having fun and doing whatever trick I have the best steeze I could do it. That's it. And with that, I got it up here. Moving my legs, sending out to so the next one. The tech deck rant. Next one. I'm that man on the moon.